Hey, what's poppin' y'all? It's your boy, Andros. Just going out on my quick, or not quick, just going out for my morning walk. Um, I'm doing this fasted, so I'm burning a lot of fat. Today I wanted to talk about uh, black pill and why I believe it's fucking horrible ideology and mindset for young men to have. And it's detrimental to their mental health and also it's just plain bad. First of all, if you don't know what black pill is, it's um, it's like an incel movement that um, someone made up, and basically, it's uh, resigning to the fact that you are genetically ugly, and that there's nothing you can do to change it, and that the reason that you can't get any bitches is because of your genetics. It's that there's nothing you can do about it, and that uh, and these people that think this way, they uh, they resign to the fact that they can't change anything about the way they look and that makes them not want to do anything it makes them stay in the room depressed as fuck and then they continue to get lazier, fatter and more ugly it's a self-fulfilling circle dude okay so anyways the reason I wanted to talk about this is because recently I had a friend of mine, very close friend of mine who started to go down this deep dark rabbit hole and I'm not blaming him for this, dude. It's very easy to get stuck in these kinds of mindsets. Like, for example, I could have very easily fallen into this. Or even Red Pill, too. I, I just hate the pills, <laughs> all of them in general. But I'm going to focus on Black Pill right now. Uh, my friend, he, uh, one day he started talk or texting me on Discord saying that he was like had a doomer black pill mindset and I was like what the fuck does that mean so he explained it to me basically what I just told y'all and then he started telling me about this acronym thing called sub 5 I don't exactly remember what it stands for but basically it was ranking uh, men on their sex appeal basically like uh, how old they are how tall they are um, if they have hair and the one that I hate the most is their race oh hold on I gotta show y'all this view Check that shit out, bro. Alright, let me sit down for a bit so I can keep talking. So basically, it's telling young men that they can't do anything about the way they look. Um, basically, because they're born that way and that there's nothing they can do. It's horrible for a young man's mental health to believe that they cannot do anything to change. <clears throat> Let me tell you something, guys. Getting pussy is not the only thing in life, okay? You don't fucking need a girl to feel fulfilled. That comes from within, okay? Listen up, because there's a bunch of people out there that think that if they just got a girlfriend, if they just had a significant other, everything would be perfect. It's not, trust me, I've been there. I thought I could find happiness in someone else when I didn't, I wasn't happy with myself. Dude, it was a fucking disaster. You have to first find happiness within yourself before you can find happiness with other people. And following Black Bill sure as hell ain't gonna help that. It's only gonna make you into a toxic, racist piece of shit. Like, okay, so, the thing that pissed me off the most about what my friend was telling me was that he was the most, uh, le or he was the least desired race that, uh, like, sexually. Uh, and I'm not gonna tell you what that is because I don't know. I, I don't I feel like that's a uh, private information I don't want to expose my friend like that, but dude, that's fucked. That's fucking disgusting way to think of things like me being a student of anthropology I've learned that We are all one human race. We don't have races All we have is different genetic variation like from where we we're born in which region and the color of our skin Which is just melanin pigmentation like, just because my skin is a little darker than yours, or your skin is darker than mine, doesn't mean that we're a different fucking race. We're all fucking human. It's retarded. Like, I feel like black people was made by bitter old racist men so that they could put plant these seeds into other young men's minds and make them bitter, bitter racist, disgusting pieces of shit, too. It's fucked up, man. So if you believe in all that stuff, please, for the love of God, stop believing what other people say. You gotta do your own research. Think for yourself for a little, man. Just because some, uh, some mysterious person that doesn't show their face online says that you're ugly doesn't mean that you're fucking ugly, dude. Only you can determine that. You have to value your own self-worth. Alright, that's enough of a heated rant. I love you guys.
Andros out. Oh yeah, also, just also wanted to add that my boy is doing so much better. I'm extremely proud of him. Dude, you know who you are. I fucking love you. Keep it up. You're gonna fucking make it. Peace out, boys.